Well, it's long been suspected, but researchers at Leeds Beckett University say they have further evidence that pupils who combine learning with sport are much more active and do better in tests. To many of us, the thought that this could be a maths lesson might not add up. But for these Year 6 students at Queensway School in Yeadon, taking the classroom outside is having a positive effect on their learning. My two digits, so one and two add up to three, which is odd. Researchers at Leeds Beckett University have been working with the school to assess what impact these classes have. Workshops run by a group called Tagtivate turn maths classes into something which look more like a game of rugby. The endorphins kick in, the oxygen gets into the brain and with that children get to develop their vocabulary faster, they're more creative in the way that they think with the numbers. So ultimately they don't maybe realise it's a math lesson until halfway through or maybe at the end of the lesson. We could uh, use decimals as well. And they may not realise they're learning more too. The study claims those children who took part in the outside lessons did better in tests compared to children who worked in a traditional classroom environment. It's only a small sample but for those behind it an exciting finding. Should everything be done in an active way? The answer is no, but actually being able to put one or two active learning lessons into, into a week to start off with, and it doesn't need to be a whole lesson, it could be small parts of lessons, and actually for those children who are scared by literacy or numeracy, to do it in an active way sometimes can take away those barriers that they face in a traditional setting. The programme also contributes to the recommended 30 minutes of physical activity in schools every day. You get to run around and it's... It's almost like you don't realise you're learning, but it kind of sticks in your head when you're doing it. If you're in classroom, you find it a bit more boring, so it's hard to understand it more. But if you're playing games, I think it's a little bit easier to understand. Match any of the numbers together in terms of doubles, halves and quarters. Those involved in the research are now hoping for extra funding to see what impact the lessons could have over a year, potentially leading to a radical change to how children are taught in the future.